Hi, I'm Ted Cook with Really Cheap Floors. Today we're going to talk about our Winchester Cabin Grade Solid. Uh, cabin Grade is an interesting topic. Each company that makes solid wood has a different definition of what their cabin grades like. For the most part, expect to see shorter board length, uh, more color variation, some, some open knot. Uh, wormholes are common. This board here you can see has got a few wormholes in it. Uh, but each lot's different. It can, it can uh, change just in different boxes that are in a pallet. With this lot right here, we've racked out a box. You can see that there are some, some two, two and a half. There's a three footer, but you see more 16 inch, 14 inch pieces than you do the long ones. That's gonna be common in almost all of the cabin grade oak floors. Now, when we go to a hickory floor or over here with a maple, we're going to see a longer board length. That's because you don't see as much knot. You don't hardly see any wormhole in, in hickory. So the reasons that you get, the reason you get short boards because they're cutting spots out that won't fit into higher grades. Well, you just don't get a lot of that in hickory. So with hickory, the biggest difference is the color. When we see the, the splotch look in here or the gray color, that's not allowed in a number one. So it falls out to a number two. Even this really dark coloration, uh, some grain tear there. That, that's what people like in hickory for the most part. So the, the cabin grade hickory or cabin grade Winchester hickory is uh, it's a pretty popular product. You'll see we run out of it pretty quickly. Uh, when we get into the dark stained oaks, now we've eliminated a lot of the contrast we saw over in the lighter oak or even in the hickory. We'll still see the short boards. We'll see wormholes. We'll see there's a there's a little open knot right there. All that's common with an oak cabin grade floor. This lot right here is a is a maple floor. Unusual. It had a lot of long boards in it. Don't know why, but that's the box that we opened. That's just the way it was. A few shorts, some some open knot on it some different deans, there's some coloration that, uh, that wouldn't make it into number one. So all these give you an idea of what defects are common in our cabin. Most of them are gonna be natural defects. There's not too many manufacturing defect. Occasionally you'll see a sander dip or something in them, but for the most part, they're natural defects. Uh, when we hold up a single board and say, ooh, I don't like that board, we may not like it in one piece, but when, when we understand that each board is part of a mosaic, the more of them you get down, uh, the less that single board stands out. It becomes part of something a lot bigger and, and people like it a lot better that way. Something else to consider, uh, the waste factor. So how much waste are we gonna have? Well, it depends on your house and the, and the wood that you choose and the guy that's installing it. A wide board, you're gonna have a little more waste because you're gonna have more rips. When you get to the wall, you know, we're, we're finishing up over there at the wall. We cut this board this way, okay? Well, with a five inch board, you're gonna waste more than you would with a, a, a two and a quarter. Uh, something else to consider is if we're doing a whole house versus just a great room. So we might say, ooh, you know what? I, I don't want that board with those wormholes in it in the middle of my living room. Can you put it in the middle of your bedroom? Sure, or, or maybe even the, the closets. Anything we use in a bedroom or closet's not waste. We've just moved it somewhere to hide it a little bit. So when, we, when we're talking about waste, how much are you gonna throw in the burn pile? If you're doing a whole house out of cabin grade, I wouldn't use more than 5% waste, but then again, I'm pretty cheap. Um, which brings us to the great point about uh, the cabin grade wood. They'll, all these cabins run about 40 to 50% of what a first quality running line floor costs. A square foot's a square foot, so you know it doesn't matter the width. What we see in our, in our Winchester cabin is just tremendous values. The best thing about the Winchester for us though is it's the continuity that, that we see. It's the same every time. We don't get bad lots of it. What you see here is what you're gonna get. Sometimes it'll be a little bit cleaner with a little bit longer boards, but for the most part, this is what you're gonna see. Listen, if you've got any questions, if you'd like to see some samples, pick up the phone, give us a call, uh, send us an email. We'll be happy to get the samples to you. Thanks.